Let's speak to our correspondent, uh, Seema Gupta. Hello to you, Seema. Uh, the death toll has risen, from what I understand, as these storms uh, caught a lot of people off guard. Yes, completely. I mean, the death toll is now 10 dead, unfortunately, and four still missing, including among those four, two children. Now, it was torrential rain overnight, 400 milliliters of rain in the space of two to three hours. Basically, what they saw was six months of rain falling in one afternoon. And so it really was unexpected, took everyone by surprise. We saw dramatic footage of vehicles being swept away by the fast-moving water. Hundreds of firefighters called in to help those who were struggling to survive, moving around in rafts, uh, helping people who had taken refuge on their rooftops and some on treetops, climbing trees just to get away from this extremely fast-moving water. It seemed to have affected a lot of the towns around the regional capital of Ancona. Uh, the mayor of Castellano Celone di Suaza, uh, describing the situation as apocalyptic. He's saying that he had not seen anything like this in so many years. He said tr whole trees were being dragged away like they were twigs in the water. So really catching everyone by surprise. And unfortunately, uh, we're still seeing four people missing and uh, 10 so far uh, have been confirmed dead as a result of these floods. Now, Seema, six months of rain in a single afternoon is shocking, but sadly, phenomena like this seem to be more common because of climate change. Uh, what has reaction been? Well, what we're hearing uh, from meteorological experts is that this essentially was a, a weather system that crossed from Sardinia, uh, one of the Italian islands, onto the mainland, and its strength increased as it passed over the, the seas, the Mediterranean Sea, because the seas are still very warm. It's been an unprecedentedly hot summer and so the seas are still very hot and so therefore you're seeing these types of dramatic uh, weather events it was completely unexpected there was a normal alert issued uh, for rain and winds but nothing to this level and we've even heard recently from Col Diretti now they're the farmers association they've said in the last decade they've seen a five-fold increase in the number of extreme weather events that naturally has an impact on agricultural output because, of course, it impacts uh, the growth and agricultural industry here, which has seen loss numbering to billions of euros. But, of course, it also impacts everyday lives of people who are caught up in these very dramatic weather events. All right, Seema, thank you very much. Seema Gupta reporting from Rome.